I was very excited about today's skate. My objective was simple, an old-fashioned flow skate, and I'm bringing you along. The only problem was on that day, I was completely and utterly sick of me. Making a lot of videos sometimes puts me in a place where I'm bored of my voice, tired of my face, and not entirely convinced that there's anything special about my skating. As usual, later on in my skate, I do have that moment where I'm like, I'm amazing. This camera needs to see what I'm doing. Would I deny fellow skaters that? I think everybody who skates has that feeling in mid-flow when they do something that gives them a kind of a feeling of self-expression that they're doing something amazing too. All this brings me to my next point or invitation. I would like to film you. That's right, if you are in Toronto in the next couple of weeks, you can be a passionate beginner or a super slick ninja. Maybe you look great in skates. You have an aesthetically pleasing style. Inline skating could use some style. That's true. I think there's a lot of great inline stories out there. This is not a paid gig, but you will feature in a very cool video with me. Contact me at billstoppard at gmail.com and tell me about yourself. If you're in Toronto between now and August 7th, we might get a chance to fly together. If you don't want to be the star of your own movie, but want to come out and skate with me and Eric from Shop Task, we'll be at the Shop Task group skate this coming Sunday, 4 o'clock, July 28th. Yes, indeed. So I knew it wouldn't be long before I turned the camera back towards myself today. About 5 or 10 minutes in, you just start having fun. You forget about it all your hang-ups. So I'm not going to talk over this whole video. I want you to hear what I'm hearing. And there's some long flows here, so here you go. Blader Union. Blader Union is a sponsor here at BSS. So Blader Union is a really good resource. I enjoy it because they cover the more hardcore, aggressive scene very well. And they also dedicate an entire section to big wheeled rollers like myself. I think it's important for both of those scenes to see each other, to affect each other. We have a lot in common. It's not that much different going from a small wheel to a big wheel. But yeah, back to their message. BladerUnion.com is the central hub for rollerblading content. They provide the latest articles, videos, podcasts, and more from around the rollerblading world. Every day in one spot, so you'll always be up to date. Yeah, I get excited when I'm checking out their site because there's always something new. This is definitely my favorite training ground in Toronto. Here at the Sky Dome. Another valued sponsor of BSS is Sonic Sports. Sonic Sports has been around since 1993. I know skaters who have been using their gear since they were like teenagers. Kids. Babies. Just infants. Sonic Sports supplies all sorts of super cool 
extremely useful inline toys. The bearing washers, the pucks. I love the pucks for shooting and for drills. If you check out Sonic Sports multi-tools for changing wheels, you will see the best inline skating multi-tool there is. Not made from cheap materials. The metal is tool grade, not IKEA grade. So yeah, I don't really even hate changing wheels or bearings anymore. I have a system with my tool. It's really cool, I'll show you sometime. I'll just uh, let you hear some of the sounds I talked for a long time. So yes, a lot of long flows today. I would love to have kept the momentum down this stretch here, but these big metal sheets over what are probably giant pits below, well they creep me out. They're hard edged, a little slippery, and I know there's like bulldozers and cars that go over these, but I somehow feel like I'm going to slip between the cracks and a sheet of metal's going to come crashing down on me or something. I know that's impossible. I guess I overrate the power of my stride. I love that there's new patios out on the sidewalks and maybe taking up some of the road, but this one coming up takes the piss a bit. I mean, really? Two feet for cyclists and skaters? Okay, maybe three. This is my favorite road. I'll let my feet do the talking. <laughs> 